Hi everyone, I have some big and exciting news to announce for the Sheriff DMC company and this channel. We're launching a new machine. It's an even more affordable, high quality, powerful CNC built for accurate cutting in metals, steels, aluminum, titanium, pretty much everything. But before we get into that, I want to quickly talk about the original DMC2 CNC we've been selling, how that's been going, and what led to building a new and revised machine. So if you're new here, I launched the DMC2 CNC on Kickstarter a few years ago. The machine was designed to be a build-it-yourself CNC machine kit capable of cutting metals with a huge 3 horsepower spindle, closed loop motors, flood coolant, and a bunch of other important features that make it an effective CNC machine. Of course, the Kickstarter was successful. We sold many hundreds of DMC2 machines after delivering to all of our Kickstarter backers, and we still continue to sell today. And generally, the feedback has been great. People love their machines and are using them daily to make all sorts of metal things, whether it's for their businesses, or hobbies, or startups, or even spacecraft components, whatever it may be. The process on our end has gone relatively smoothly, but right after the Kickstarter, we were getting this company up and running during the thick of the pandemic lockdowns. So we were hit with tons of delays from manufacturers not being able to work for weeks at a time, or the shipping backlog on the West Coast delaying things for weeks or even months, and increased costs of manufacturing due to sudden spikes in raw materials that voided all of our previous quotes. It felt like we got hit with everything that could go wrong. Of course, we managed to pull through it all and now have a successfully up and running desktop CNC manufacturing company. Now let me give you an unbiased as possible review of my own DMC2 CNC machine. When I marketed this machine as a high power metal cutting desktop CNC, there is no doubt about that, and the many hundreds of people operating their DMC2 machines can attest to its capabilities. But it's definitely not nearly a perfect product yet in my opinion. There are a few aspects that need improvement in this design, and I think that boils down to three main things. The first thing is that the DMC2 as a kit is too hardcore of a kit. What I mean is that there are so many different parts, bolts, nuts, brackets, wires, electronics, boards, that all need to go together that take an average person about a week minimum to build, which I think is way too much. Of course, you can't escape that a three axis CNC has three entire separate moving electromechanical axes. It's not Lego, it's a complex precision machine, but more could have been done to simplify the mechanical and electrical sections of the build to speed things up so that the kit only takes a day or two to build rather than a week or two to build. The second thing I don't like about the DMC2 is the tram of the machine, which ties into the build difficulty. I designed the DMC2 out of square tubing, which is great because it's cheap, but it's not a precision surface. We got away with mounting rails to the tubes from our manufacturer, knowing that the flatness was generally within one or two thou across the entire surface. So it was good enough, but not perfect. The bigger problem is that you need to carefully tram the machine to get it square while you're building the machine. And that results in a trammed and square machine in the end. If you rush that process during the build or don't do it correctly, then after the week you spent building it, you finally power it on and realize that two axes are 0.5 degrees out of square, and now you need to undo a bunch of things just to shim or adjust any two axes. There's nothing wrong with this tram and square while you're building approach, but the problem is that people rush things and they're not experienced with precision mechanical assemblies, or they bump things out of square as they're building, or they make tiny mistakes and measure incorrectly, so there's plenty of room for error. Our tramming procedure also relied on a magnetic angle box to set the frame components perpendicular to the ground, which is not ideal considering how low quality and inconsistent some of these cheap angle boxes are. The real solution should have been a tramming method designed to work after you've built the machine. The last thing that I dislike about the DMC2 is the quality of the metal. On some of our parts there are ugly burrs, there was inconsistent powder coating, there were bumps under the powder coat, and sometimes even rust inside the tubes. It didn't look premium on maybe 10-20% to 20 of all of the parts. Most of this was aesthetic and did not affect the final machine performance at all, but understandably people were not super thrilled when opening a box and the first thing they see is a poor paint job on their brand new parts. I'm not trying to shove low quality parts out of the door, but at the time I had no choice but to ship what I had. What happened basically is that we did a test batch of 10 units with our manufacturer before launching on Kickstarter. The parts came back excellent, everything looked great, so we went ahead and launched the Kickstarter, then took the funds and placed a large, almost half million dollar order with our manufacturer. And then three months later they delivered this huge batch of parts looking nothing like the original batch of 10. And when we complained they said, sorry that's how we paint, it's not like we have a written contract on how smooth the paint has to be. So I was stuck with what I got and had no choice but to ship it and do the best I can with what I have. Of course, we no longer deal with that paint shop, so there is no need to worry about that moving forward. So with those improvements in mind, I set out to redesign the DMC2 to make an updated version 2, but I ended up instead settling on making a new, low-cost, slightly smaller variation, 
and called it the DMC2 Mini. And that is this machine sitting right beside me here. This is basically the same DMC2, but shrunken down and with all of the improvements I mentioned wanting to make. I'll briefly go over some of those things now, but all of the details on the DMC2 Mini will be in its own video posted right after this. So first of all, to trim down the build time of our CNC kits, I've reduced the amount of overall parts on the DMC2 Mini. There are more single metal components doing multiple jobs rather than everything having its own special bracket or smaller subplates to attach pieces together, for example. To help wire and connect everything together, we are now getting all of our wire pre-cut, pre-stripped, and pre-soldered. So connecting things together is as fast and easy as we can possibly make it. Utilizing pre-made connectors with stripped wires wherever possible, and that alone shaves off almost an entire day of assembly time. To solve the tramming issue, the frame is intelligently redesigned to have a jack screw system that tilts the entire top end to nod forward or backward, and left or right to adjust the X, Y, and the Y, Z axes after you build the entire machine. And Z, X axes are adjusted from behind and tightened into place, all using a digital angle tool now, which is far more accurate down to within about 0.05 degrees. This means you can truly slap this machine together with no concern for alignment at all during the build, and then adjust everything when you're done, which ensures everyone has a well-trammed and accurate machine, regardless of your skill level while building. You can give this machine to a high schooler to build and they will be able to follow along our detailed manuals, and no matter what the outcome is, you can just tram it in afterwards at any time for an accurate machine. And finally, to address the metal quality concerns, we have a new manufacturer that paints our metal exceptionally well making sure everything is free of burrs and dust beforehand. And on top of that, we are now facing down all of the square tubing on both sides of the rail surfaces to ensure the rails are mounting perpendicular and flat to the frame. This drastically improves the fit and finish of all of our metal, which takes us to a whole new level of quality that we never had before. With those three main improvements addressed and a bunch of other little things, we are now delivering a far superior desktop CNC machine and kit building experience than before. And as an added bonus, all of these improvements come in at a significantly lower cost than the original DMC2 was, partly helped by it being a smaller overall machine. A lot of optimizing parts, suppliers, logistics, shipping, packaging, and every aspect of our business has gone into bringing the price down. And I don't like to put prices in videos because of course things can fluctuate over time, but right now we are selling DMC2 mini kits for just 2,500 US dollars. That includes the entire machine, the cover, the coolant system, the probes, collets, and basically everything you see here to have an up and running machine minus the vise and MPG wheel which are optional extras. So that's all for this quick update video. DMC2 minis are already in stock. We are not running another Kickstarter since there's no need. You can buy one right now on the SheriffDMC.com website. But before you do, take a look at our detailed walkthrough video of the DMC2 mini and our speeds and feeds video. This will show you all of the details and capabilities of the machine to help you decide if it's the right solution for your CNC needs. Thanks for watching this video and I'll see you in the next one.